Space Explorers between the line in three, two, one, go. And we're dance dancing our way into qualification match number 15 here in Austin. And right away, Blue Alliance trying to get some hatch panels placed on some rocket ships. They've got one, they've got two, trying to go for a third. 6155, meanwhile, on the Red Alliance, towing a bit of cargo with them. Let's see where they'll try to place that. Their teammates, Ladybots, now holding on to a hatch panel, trying to align themselves up with the cargo ship as their teammates, Electrobots, able to shoot and score a piece of cargo into the ship. Good for three points. And it's a close match so far. Red Alliance in the lead, 19 to 17, but Blue striking right back with a three-pointer of their own, 20 to 19 now. Beartex making quick work of their cargo game, placing multiple pieces of cargo now into that ship. Meanwhile, on the far side, Barbecue zipping right past the far side of the field. Let's see what type of action they'll try to get. Looks like they're going for their hatch panel by the half station. 4610 with another hatch panel placed as well. Their teammates, Brooks Academy Robotics, now trying to align themselves onto that middle of the field apparatus known as the cargo ship. Under a minute now, Blue Lions holding on to a six point lead, 25 to 19, extending that. Looks like by another three, by placing another piece of cargo into the rocket. Barbecue up and ricochets over on the far side. Entering into our end game now, Blue Alliance with a 36 to 19 advantage. 46-10 going for that middle hatch panel placement. It's up and it's good. Red Alliance now, they've got 61-55 onto the level one part of the half. That's Electrobots. Ladybots trying to join them on their side. 4610 trying to get some last second points as time expires. And that'll do it for qualification match number 15. We'll have your official results momentarily. And taking their trip to the next planet will be the Blue Alliance. A score of 49 to 27 secures them two victory points.